I would say for me, uh, coming up through Tuskegee's undergraduate program with Ellen and Poultry Science, of course I was a member of Man Arts. Um, what I had to understand is the, the role that veterinarians play in the agriculture business period, even with the food uh, chain especially. Um, now individually, day to day, do I have an agricultural side of my brain that's working in, a, in the exam room with the dog and cat? Not necessarily. But the way that the agricultural business is running definitely affects the profession. And so being in the know of what's going on in D.C., what's, you know, the, the money that's being put out for any veterinarian that goes and works in rural areas, those sorts of things are very important because at any moment, I may decide that small animal practice is not my desire anymore. And that's one of the blessings of the profession of veterinary medicine is that we play so many different roles in so many different aspects that if I decided that clinical medicine is no longer my interest, I can jump out into a government regulation type of job, yeah. but I would need to understand what the climate is. And so um, we have a national organization called the American Veterinary Medical Association that we shorthand for AVMA. They, and I'm a member of it, and that's how I stay in the know of what's going on government aspect wise, agriculture side wise, because we are really a strong part. We as in the veterinary profession are really a strong part of that because you can't keep animals healthy without a veterinarian, okay? And then that even means that veterinarians play a large role in even the phar pharmaceutical companies because you can't keep animals healthy without medication sometimes, depending on what you believe, because there's holistic medicine as well. But we, I have to recognize that role that's being played because that also helps me make sure that my students know how many options are out there. And you all as undergraduates, for those who are interested in veterinary medicine, you should be very much so aware that there's more to veterinary medicine than seeing and treating dogs and cats, okay? And we were just having a discussion earlier on about how large animal medicine is something that is decreasing in interest, and it's really generational. You have more kids coming from urban areas that have very little to no rural exposure, farm exposure. So when they get to vet school, they're like, no, I don't want to touch a horse. No, I don't want to touch a cow. I was that person. I still am that person. <laughs> and my granddad had cows. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it blows my mind sometimes when I take that inventory. But it's very important that you know what your options are because you also want to be a veterinarian that's flexible. Anytime you need to change your career, you can yeah. jump start it into another thing. So that's very important.